Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. So we kind of got a different one today. So after all the snow we've had and everything on the roads, I'm gonna show you guys how to wash your car with all the snow off, um, all the ice and everything that's been on the roads. So we're gonna do a quick walk around of the car here so you can see the before and after and I'll talk you through this here so trying to be quick about this because we do have a line full of cars but see all this sand and silt that's on there when you're washing the car that stuff's getting rubbed right into the paint and I know as a lot of anglers we don't care too much about our vehicles some of us do some of us don't but the back of your vehicle here is all the sand that's on the cars and I was trying to explain that if you use wax and polymers on your car and polymer sealants, they're good to, to a degree, but they're not gonna last too long because they're just gonna break down with all those harsh chemicals that are on the road. So I've detailed cars professionally on a high-end level for about five years, and I've seen cars and talked to customers that have talked about you know, why their cars you know, aren't looking as shiny and they're not having that hydrophobic um, appeal on them due to the harsh environments here and as us as anglers you know we drive through some harsh conditions that's why you see me washing the undercarriage here in victoria's car you know i'm going to do that next but just wanted to be very thorough with rinsing this off to get all of that contaminants off the best i can and you can see to the right of me i have two wash buckets and i'll show those a little bit more in detail where they both have grit guards and again you'll see that here soon and I use a microfiber wash mitt because microfiber wash mitts they capsulate the dirt versus rubbing the dirt into the paint and that's why I'm being pretty thorough with my rinse job here um, I don't know if there's really anything else to add onto this so we'll go to the next clip all right so here's the two buckets I was talking about one's wash and one's rinse both grit guards there's the microfiber wash mitt. And that's what I'll use when uh, washing the car. Again, I like to stop, start from the top down just so everything runs down. But as long as you have uh, those wash mitts and uh, the wash buckets there, you're gonna be in good hands. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I have, like both of our cars have been ceramic coated. If you're in the Washington area, wanting to get your car done on a high-end detail interior and exterior with the uh, protections of the exterior of the car, ceramic coatings, uh, you know, even sealants, everything they use over there. It's gonna be very hydrophobic, which is gonna prevent things from sticking to the car. It's gonna give you that nice shine on the car and it's gonna make just maintaining the car a lot easier too. So definitely look them up. I'll leave a link in the description uh, in the description below with their phone number at the end of the video also. Okay, so here I'm just rinsing and you know, I mean, rinsing big deal, right? But again, what I'm trying to show in this here is if you have something that is uh, ceramic coated, just wanted to make sure the pressure wasn't too much with the pressure washer there. With something that's ceramic coated, you can see how the water is just sheeting off really well right there. And it'll help you just rinse the car a lot easier. Again, nothing is sticking to it. Um, so that's basically what we're just showing in this part here. I'm a huge advocate of ceramic coating the vehicle. I can't stress that enough, especially again with all of us as anglers and hunters. It just really benefits. Uh, washing the car and helping us maintain it also there. All right, gang, so about 15, 20 minutes later, here's the um, after result of that. Again, brings the shine right back to the car, the protection's there, and that's what we're really just showing here. Again, just very quick job. Like I said, we had cars behind us. Um, so, you know, just rinse or dry the rest of that off as we go. But just kind of showing the shininess of it there and yeah so that's the benefits of that all right and one more car so this is victoria's car just wanted to show white car how dirty that is white shows up everything so that's what we're showing here in the footage 
of this, just a quick walk around of it, and we'll show the footage of you know, what it looks like after it's all done. We don't need to see the rinsing part of all that. So a quick walk around of the vehicle here, just to show you guys, and then I'll, I'll take you in close here of what. So again, this just took me about 20 minutes. Um, you know, but it was kind of quick. Wasn't worried too much about, you know, this black stuff down here. Because again, it's gonna rain this week. Minutes, we've got all of that salt off, all of that um, sand and everything off from there. So, if you're wanting to get your car done, get it done professionally detailed. Um, there's a place I recommend called APC Auto Spa. If you're in the Washington area, they're in Monroe, Washington. I'll put a link in the description down below. There, you can see the gloss on the, the hood of the car there. But I'll put a link in the description of the vehicle there. And the importance of just getting this done is to get it done during, you know, at least maybe once or, you know, twice a year. Make sure it's thoroughly cleaned. Again, call the gang out at APC. They'll explain this to you in a lot more detail. Music